What is likely now is that you will be able to buy an Oculus Rift. Is it still called that? Yeah. Still officially so. called the Rift. Yeah. Uh, in Q1 of 2016. Like a real as one? As a consumer product. Oh. They had their press conference today. Oculus did. Uh, they have a new logo as well, which I don't think it shows up in any of this, any of these pictures. No, but it's just a big they one. revealed the final headset, like what it looks like. Uh, yeah. uh, and I, I think it looks pretty good. Right. In terms of, of what it offers. I mean, it's it's very similar to what we've seen. It's just more refined, neater. Right. Um, let's see. It features two OLED screens. We've known that for a while. Tracking system. Um, there's also now an external sensor that you can put on your desk, which replaces the webcam like sensor from earlier Oculus headsets. Right. I remember that one. Right. So this one is they, they just call it an external sensor, but they don't say it's a camera. So maybe it's just an IR sensor and it's reading the IR output. It could be. So maybe they don't want to call it a camera. I don't know. But clearly that's, I mean, that's how it, that's how the uh, Oculus knows if you're leaning forward or mm -hmm. leaning backward, like where you are in, in distance from the, from the machine itself. Integrated a pair of headphones into the headset, which is cool. Uh, but I think they've made it so that you can take those off if you want to use your own headphones or, yeah, or it looks like they're system. removable. Um, it's designed to fit better. Well, that's a plus. Uh, there's a dial to better adjust the distance between your eyes, uh, which which is also important. Uh, but there is more. They also uh, said they're going to bundle an Xbox One wireless controller with it. Okay. So they're going to bundle an, an Xbox One controller. And Phil Spencer, who's the head of Xbox at Microsoft, said on stage that the Rift will work seamlessly with Windows 10. All right. Okay, so that, that kind of makes sense. But even better news is that people will also be able to stream Xbox games like Halo to the Rift. Now you won't get the V like if you take an existing Xbox game and you stream it to the Rift, you don't you don't get like the the true VR. What you get essentially is like you're watch you're playing the game on a giant. Just screen. watching a big screen. Like, yeah. So like, how does it st like? Because I know that the previous development kits and stuff has all been HDMI. So my right. guess is, uh, so you'll still hook it up to a PC. Okay. But. Uh, one of the things they've announced for Windows 10 and Xbox is that the ability to stream Xbox games from your Xbox One to the Windows 10 to a PC. Windows PC. And okay. people were often like, well, who's going to do that? Right. Well, now you have a reason to. You've got an Xbox One controller that yeah. comes with the Rift, and the Rift will be uh, able to stream those games into it. So hmm. I I'll be curious to see how that actually plays out. Uh, yeah. Is it a better experience for me to play Halo 5 uh, sitting on my couch, looking at my TV, or putting on a headset and mm -hmm. sitting near my computer. Well, if you don't have a couch and a TV, then I guess. Well, sure. <laughs> you know, then the Rift is a no-brainer. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, Oculus announced a $10 million prize to encourage indie game development. Um, and one more thing. This is another post. Oculus founder Palmer Lucky introduced a brand new controller for the Rift, simply called Oculus Touch. It promises hand presence, manipulation, low mental load. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Okay. Communicative gestures, traditional inputs, and a lightweight feel. So you get two of them, one for each hand. They each have a sort of half moon shape, uh, as you can kind of see in the. What's the name the of that thing there. on the on the sword? What's the name of that little the hilt? The hilt, the little uh, curvy thing that goes. Yeah, so, yeah, it kind of looks like that. Yeah, like that's the part so of the, the device. So, so you don't hurt your hand when you're swinging your hand around and run it into something. I guess yep. maybe. Okay. So it's it. I mean, clearly this is not a device that it's going to be ready day one with yeah. Oculus because yeah. they're shipping an Xbox One controller hmm. with it. Yeah. Uh, but if you look at the devices, like they have uh, all these little LEDs are are going, to, are going to be IR LEDs again. So it's going to track the oh, motion that's in and what out it's for. Okay. that way. Huh. Um, yeah. Uh, this to see. And guys, just updated this post. They've heard a development kit version of the Oculus Touch will be available in Q1 2016. So the development kit will be in Q1. Okay. Uh, it won't be consumer ready version, uh, but just an early edition for developers to work on. We seem to have uh, we've seen this model before. This is not a uh, surprise. Uh, obviously, the reason is to give developers time to get used to the new controller, incorporate their games around it. Pre-order uh, for the Touch will open the same time as the Rift. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, so even though it's not going to be available, they're going to take pre-orders for it. I think they're so. just trying to push to get like over that hump, right? Like this, yeah, for this stuff to really catch on. It's just we're still climbing that hill, right? We're just not there yet. It's, this is not a anywhere near a so, ubiquitous kind of a thing. They yeah. They talked about it, and and Palmer talked about it like they didn't let any of the, any of the press or media pick it up and use it or anything yet. Mm. But the idea is that you 
they're, they're, you're holding them, and as you maybe reach for something, you feel some kind of like haptic, haptic. feedback. But I mean, it's you still going to be go, a vibration. Yeah, you can only do so much. And is it any, is how much different is that than um, a controller? Mm -hmm. Except that you have two separate things. Yeah. Now, obviously, you could do rotation, so maybe you could push like if it could be like you're holding a key you put it into something and then as you rotate it it knows that you have rotated your hand you get some haptic feedback on the, right, on the, right. on the transition between them um, but at, at first glance these don't look like just super revolutionary like the headset itself did yeah I don't know it's hard to say I, hopefully I'll maybe if I get out to E3 it looks less likely now but maybe you get to they're not going to let anybody touch them I don't know <laughs> Maybe I'll just run up there anyway and just grab, it. just grab it and tell you how it feels with no software running. Sounds pretty useful. Probably wouldn't work very well.